Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and if you want more Halo news like this, go ahead and sub to the channel. We are on the grind to 10k, and you'll get super cool insider information like this. Not really insider information, but anyways, I had been playing on mouse and keyboard and controller on Halo Infinite, and sometimes I would notice when I was using a controller that I would get some really weird aim assist, aim resist action going on, and I kind of just chalked it up to me being bad and the game having low aim assist and low bullet magnetism and things like that. But the more I looked into it, the more and more I found people kind of complaining about the same issue. And then I came across this tweet saying that if you press enter on your keyboard at the screen, instead of start on your controller, you'll get no aim assist in game and the game will think you're on a mouse, even if you're on a controller. And I started thinking about that. And obviously when I start up the game, you know, I've, I've got my hand on the mouse and keyboard and stuff because I play on PC. And I definitely just hit enter or whatever to get past this screen. And then later on, I'll pick up my controller when I want to play the actual game. So I looked through the comments. Everybody else is saying the same thing. You can see talk when he was doing this on stream. I was actually watching this and I was like, yeah, that's what I've been experiencing and stuff. It's weird. And there's this tweet from Wonderboy who says that the game sometimes recognizes your controller as mouse and keyboard. But if you start in big picture mode, that will help. And honestly, I've been using big picture mode when I would play Master Chief Collection because I felt like there was some difference in the quality of gameplay on a controller. But as you can see, there's a ton of people, you know, kind of talking about the same thing. So, so if you want to open up big picture mode, all you got to do is go to Steam. Up in the top right, there's big picture mode. Voila. This is very loud when you start it up. So just be aware that I will turn it down in the video. Before you do anything here, make sure you go to the settings. Make sure you go to controller, make sure whatever controller is like PlayStation, but um, obviously I have an Xbox Elite, so I make sure that's on. There's also this extended feature support one. Um, I'm not gonna turn that on because you have to restart the computer and I am not ready to do that. So we're gonna go back, back, back. You can go to library, Halo Infinite, bam. All you have to do is click it, play. Eventually it will load. All right, so now that you're at the screen, make sure that you you make sure your controller is plugged in and see I press start on the controller and it still shows my mouse cursor. So that's kind of, oh, it's gone now. Okay, very cool. But uh, hopefully that kind of helps out with it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this in the video, but I'm gonna do a little round using the BR. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. As you can tell, I obviously had aim assist right there. Yep, I can feel it. So if this video helped you, make sure you leave a like. Sub to the channel if you want some more Halo content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.